So I realized I start all my videos off with so. Maybe I should change that. It does. I digress. This is Norris Teaches Science, Biology Edition, starring Mr. Norris. And today we're going to talk about meiosis basics. Meiosis is like the cousin to mitosis. It's still a type of cell division, but it's a little different. So by the end of the video, I can understand what meiosis is and how it is different from mitosis. All right. So before we get into it, I kind of already clued into this in another video. But you have two main types of cells in your body. You have your somatic cells and your gametes. Somatic cells are your body cells. So we're talking stuff like bone cells, uh, skin cells, nerve cells, blood cells. Those are somatic cells. They go through mitosis. Gametes are your sex cells. So in females, you're talking about your ovum or egg cells. And in males, you're talking about your sperm cells. And they go through the other type of division called meiosis. So when we talk about this, we need to talk about something called diploid cells and haploid cells, which it kind of goes along with somatic cells and gametes. Diploid cells are your body cells or your somatic cells. They have, um, each chromosome has an identical match in the cell. And usually, usually if you're reading in a textbook, they're going to represent it by 2N. Um, just means that there's two um, chromatids. Um, so in humans, we have 46 chromosomes in each of our diploid cells. And that's 23 pairs. So there's 46 chromosomes in diploids. Haploid cells are your gametes, those sex cells. And we only represent by an N because they have half the number of chromosomes as diploids. You can think about it like this. Diploid has the prefix di means two and haploid sounds like half. So in humans, our gametes only have 23 chromosomes because that is half the number in our diploids and it differs for each organism or species out there each species has a different number of chromosomes in their diploids and in their haploids so let's do a little practice here so we're going to start off with humans it says diploid there's 46 we need to know how many haploid chromosomes there are and to go from diploid to haploid, we're going to divide by 2. So 46 divided by 2 would be 23. All right, possums. And I know you're like, possums doesn't start with a P. It, an O, it does. Opossums, as some people call them. Possums. All right. This time they give us that there's 11 chromosomes in the haploid. We need to go to diploid. If you're going haploid to diploid, you're going to multiply by 2. So 11 times 2 is 22. King crab. We have a diploid amount of 208. So if we're going diploid to haploid, we're going to divide by 2. Divide by 2, you get 108. Four. Yes, I know. I did the math in my head. This is simple math. I'm not like asking you to find the antiderivative of something. If you don't know what that is, don't take calculus. But maybe you should. It's actually a very interesting subject. All right. Net, last one, rice. Rice, yes, rice. Plants are still organisms. They still have chromosomes. So they have 12 chromosomes in a haploid in one of their sex cells. We need to get to diploid, so we're going to multiply that by 2, and 12 times 12 is 24. And that's how you would go between these two numbers. So a little bit more about meiosis and um, its information. Uh, meiosis must reduce the 
um, the chromosome number by half. We do that because half of your genetic material comes from your mother and half of it comes from your father. So your mother can only give half the number of chromosomes and your father can only give half the number. So you can see here, here's the female, here's the male. W something called fertilization um, comes and it restores the number to 2n or the total. So 23 plus 23 equals 46. So you get your 46 back when the two combine. That way the organism still has 46 chromosomes. It's so that each organism has this, the right number of chromosomes um, that the species needs. Now one special thing happens during meiosis is something called crossing over. It's when chromosomes exchange corresponding parts with each other. So here we are. It's going. To we're going to talk about when it happens in a future video. Um, here's the two chromosomes. They're kind of alike. And during a part of meiosis, they get, they're get right next to each other, and they're just kind of moving. They don't, don't stand there motionless. And sometimes their legs will overcross. And when that happens, they exchange um, genes that would be the same type. They may be different versions. One could be for blue eyes. One could be for red eyes. And they kind of exchange them out. And so they have each part of each other on, on them. So why are daughter cells different from in meiosis? One thing I haven't mentioned is that in meiosis, the daughter cells are not identical to the parent cell. Um, one, they have a half number of chromosomes, um, half the number of chromosomes, one of each of the chromosome genes. Um, it's com and then um, it's a combination of all the parents' chromosomes. And a lot of the reasons why you are different from your siblings is because of meiosis. You can look at me and my sister. Um, my sister has really dark hair, really dark brown eyes, um, and really, really tan. And I have lighter brown hair that will turn blonde in the summer if I'm in the sun a lot. I have hazel eyes and I'm pale. I go in the sun, but I, I don't tan as easily as my sister or even my mother. Um, I burn. Uh, I, have, I have some descendants that were very fair, pale people who burn in the sun, and I burn, so I wear a lot of sunscreen. All right, I digress. I talk too much about myself. All right, so meiosis summary. It's for gametes only only going to happen in your sex cells. It's not going to happen in your body cells or your somatic cells. It involves two cellular divisions. It's going to divide twice. Unlike mitosis, it only divided once. It's going to divide twice. You start with one diploid cell, and you're going to make four haploid cells. And the four daughter cells are going to be genetically different from each other and even the parent. So let's summarize between mitosis and meiosis i would pause this video right now and copy this down because this is going to be this could really help you when you're studying this information in biology so mitosis has one division while meiosis has two crossing over does not happen in mitosis but it does happen in meiosis mitosis has two cells that result meiosis has four mitosis in humans we're going to go with humans um, has 46 chromosomes. Meiosis, the cells would have 23 chromosomes. Mitosis is for your body cells. Meiosis is for your gametes or your sex cells. Another term for body cells is somatic cells. I just couldn't fit it in the slide. And mitosis, the starter cells are going to be identical to each other. And meiosis, there's going to be variations in the cells genetically. And that's a little bit about meiosis, and I think the next video we're going to be going through the phases of meiosis and drawing them out. And like I always say, I hope you learned something today, and this is Mr. Norris, and he is signing out.